Good, good, good. Guruji, one last you? one. Connected to that question, Guruji. You have said that meditation burns up karma. How do we know that is happening? <clears throat> it just happens. It's natural. You keep anything on fire, it gets heated up. Right? So meditation definitely erases the past impressions. Mm. Good, good, good. <clears throat> you know, one of our uh, devotees has made a movie uh, it is nice, we'll show it a little later tonight for you. Just 12 minutes of it. And it says how this entire universe is nothing but space. What we consider matter simply does not exist. You know, Dr. Dur, who is one of the greatest scientists of today, of quantum physics, <clears throat> he, he told me some, uh, something very beautiful. He said, you know, Guruji, 35 years I've been teaching, I'm studying, doing research on matter only to know it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> he says, now I know it doesn't exist. And I've been studying that thing that doesn't exist at all. <clears throat> So what we consider uh, the subatomic particle, the quarks and all these, they are simply wave functions, are simply vibrations. So the entire universe is nothing but just vibrations. Just vibrations and vibrations and vibrations. And that's what the Vedas have said, declared from thousands of years ago. They said the universe is nothing but an impulse of knowledge and vibrations. <coughs> and everything is made up of that sound vibration, they said. Knowledge vibration. That's what is called mantra. Mantra is that vibration which contains information, which contains knowledge. With today's information technology, it's astounding to know how you just click a button and send an information, type something. That information goes in the space and it gets transmitted all across the globe. Not only just the globe, even beyond our solar system. So much far beyond our solar system, all the information is by capsule sent can be sent out to anywhere in the world. And this is exactly what the Vedic Rishis have been saying and they believed for so many years that they said in every particle, in every little atom or in every vibration, you have the entire universe encapsulated in it. If you tell someone in a pen drive, the entire book is contained if you had said this few decades ago, people would have laughed at you. I said, it's impossible. You need the whole library, big volumes of books. How can you get all those information in a pen drive, in a small capsule? But the, in, the ancient people have said that in Bindu, in a drop, the ocean is contained. That in one ray, the entire cosmos is contained. Similarly, in one human soul, spirit, the vast infinity is contained. The Paramatma, the divinity, the unfathomable space is contained in the individual self, our soul. So, it is amazing that they said Gyan Ghan means every spot of the creation 
has is is concentrated with information with knowledge knowledge and wisdom is contained in every particle of this universe in totality so that's why i said every particle is total in this universe so we are made up of some 50 trillion particles and each particle is complete you each particle contains all the information in the universe isn't that amazing each human body each human dna contains all other species of the universe that means in one human dna you can create any animal any species of this universe <coughs> an elephant can be created out of your dna or a scorpio a butterfly or a dinosaur anything could be created from yours that means every little particle in the universe contains all information and this is what the ancient seers said gyan ghan ghan means concentrated solidified knowledge in every little particle of creation and that's what our consciousness is anand ghan it's concentrated bliss and it is consolidated knowledge and that is what our consciousness is it's so amazing isn't it isn't it so amazing so thrilling to just to know that yeah the universe what we see as an empty space around us is really not empty but filled with bliss and knowledge knowing that we simply relax and we get connected to that feel that we already are we are connected already we realize we are connected oh good good 